How was the barrels popping this D-Boss track to this video by Black T-Blog? This is Yellow Bone, Danny Lay, almost cries on live and slams B. Simone for texting the baby. And also Cardi B loses brand new. Um, okay, let, let's see what's going on with, with this chick. I'm wearing these glasses, by the way, because I got bit in the eye by a mosquito. So I look crazy at the moment. Um, but yeah, apparently B. Simone got X from a show because Danny didn't want to film with her. Something like that. I think it was Wildin' Out. Don't know all the deets, but let's watch. Nobody's in yeah, that that's what he was. situation. So I'm sure a lot of people in real life would probably do the same thing. And shout out again to all those people who hate my guts, but are sitting in a quiet place listening to my show. You are obsessed and sick. Mm. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, back. It's my first day back home. Now. Tired. what's good you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl ebony all right you guys so let's get into this b simone danny lay situation and how all of this has now come down to the fact that b simone could be messing around with the baby currently talk about a mess now you guys know b simone has made no doubt in our minds that she is in love with the baby although times it did seem a little bit first <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I put this girl on speed 1.25 to speed it up and now it sounds like she's talking at a regular speed. That shit is crazy. This this is sped up, by the way. This is her sped up. The key key. Now, with that being said, a couple of days ago, it was reported that Danny Lay would be showing up to Wild and Out. Now, after the show happened, several sources started telling the media that Danny Lay demanded that B. Simone not be able to participate in her episode. Now, people were up in arms, especially B. Simone's fans, because they felt like, why are you stopping her bag? Are you still worried about what the baby is doing? Mm. Well, it does seem that Danny Lay may have had a well enough reason to not want B. Simone on that stage. Now, before we into what Danny Lay had to say, I want to take you back to 2020. You guys remember that B. Simone and the baby did spark dating rumors in the music video Find My Way. She was oh. the video girl and people really did feel that. that they could be dating. It was actually said during the Wild and Out episode that before the filming began, Danny Lay felt like something had been going on between the baby and B. Simone and she actually expressed those feelings to executive producers who ultimately made the big decision. However, Danny Lay is now saying that it has nothing to do with that. Danny Lay is saying B. Simone, be Simone was not only him. texting the baby when they were together and she saw the messages, but she also said B. Simone just wrote a diss track about her. Check this out. <sighs> so the situation, I just feel like, okay, from the John, it was never a demand. I don't know why the blogs are seeding it out to put it out that I demanded B. Simone not to be on Wild and Out. It wasn't the case. Wild and Out asked me. I love Wild and Out shows. I always supported Nick. I've always supported the comedians. Um, on the show so you know me and B Simone are not cool so I just my team asked if it's cool she doesn't do the episode that I do respectfully it was never anything to be like I'm a diva I don't want I thought it'd be more mature to have us not sitting next to each other on the show making it mad awkward and uncomfortable you know like I that's I'm protecting my peace I'm protecting my heart on the situation it wasn't petty she was actually there so I'm sure she got paid it wasn't to take away money from nobody's pocket it was just why why would we say I didn't know you wanted like, I didn't know, I don't know. So, yeah. Recently, she just did a whole diss song about me. I didn't say nothing about it. I seen text messages between him and her. I didn't say nothing about it. And that's what it was, that's it. I'm handed in the situation with Charlie because I feel like I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm just doing me. And she on a TV interview talking about trying to make this a whole whatever. And it just is what it is. Like, I don't even want to talk about it, I feel like. I'm working really, really hard right now. I'm on tour. I'm fucking really tired. I'm on tour. What's the taking time away from my baby to like? Are you? Just to, like, are you just performing yellow bone to, to the to the people? And it's just like I feel like the devil just wants to follow me and just not the devil. I don't know. Follow me. I don't know if it's it's real life, guys. Like I know there's a lot of internet stuff. But you guys don't know it's real life. Real life stuff Ooh. is happening. <laughs> they may you guys don't know details. The if I don't want to be around somebody. It ain't no diva thing. It's just hey, is it cool? She's not on this episode. I don't think it was that deep. I'm sorry. Like, for real, I really wouldn't have did the episode. If I would have known all of this would have came out of it, I'd rather have not done it. I just thought respectfully I would ask and see if that was cool. Bam, it's done. I'm not, I'm not ever fighting over no community thing. I'm never fighting over nothing. Like, Ooh, I'm passed out over it. I understand. I'm not insecure. I'm not scared. I'm just not going to be around somebody that me and you don't clearly mess with each other. So, I don't know. That's just, it ain't missing out on no money. 
she was there, so she got paid. If she didn't get paid, well, I didn't have to pay her for that day for her being there in her time. I don't got no more problems. I don't want to speak on the situation at all. I'm on tour. I'm working. I'm working on the music. I just want to, like, focus on that. And who knows if this will get backlash because it is what it is with me. I know everybody likes to come for me. It's all good. Like, But I'm really just focusing on myself right now. I'm on tour. And that's it. It ain't no demand. It ain't no nothing. I didn't. It's just protecting my peace, protecting my energy. That's it. That's all I got to say. So, yeah. I don't know if there's anything else I would like to say. But, yeah. Let's see what card the blogs pick up from this live and see what happens because it is what it is. There's no beef. Everybody on the cast and the show, everybody was cool. There was, was no problems on set. There's problems now, but it's all good. Like, I'm not even tripping. Nobody's in, my, nobody's in my position. I had a kid with John. Like, this ain't no little. It's a real, like, it was a sensitive topic for me. It was a sensitive situation. It's a lot. So nobody's in my shoes in this situation. So I'm sure a lot of people in real life would probably do the same thing. If they knew the truth, he was openly supporting me and him all the time and then started doing you and being weird. So so as you guys see, hmm. Danny Lay pretty much had every right not to kind of want her on the show. But B. Simone also had something to say earlier today on the Tamron Hall show. And she went as far as saying that Danny Lay, well, she's not mature. You know what? I'm going to answer that very simply. It is true. But we're going to have grace for that situation. Um, I don't agree with it, but I understand it, especially... You know, she's not that mature, so we're just gonna have grace for her and move forward. Child, this is a hot mess. So, you guys know, Girl, you're after not mature. All of this drama, I decided to go look up the diss track, and it's very interesting because in the song, you hear B. Simone saying, you know, pipe down, I'm gonna take your baby daddy, and then something to the effect of your baby mama number three. You know, it's talk about a mess. I mean, did you lie? Oh. You really are baby mama number three. You know, Why is she coming at her? Now, the video sounded okay. You know, the music, it sounded pretty cute. Hmm, I don't know. B. Simone, you've been throwing some shots, chill. And you guys know that B. Simone just the other day posted the baby's video, Boogeyman, where he was coming after another woman, Megan Thee Stallion. So, look, you guys, this is a hot mess. How do I personally feel? I feel that Jenny Lay had every right not to want her on the stage. We're not cool. You was texting yeah. my man on top of that. And you you made a distract about me. Why would I want to be on the stage with you? I mean, let's be very clear. I mean, it's not that hard to understand. Danny Lay had every right to say no you don't need to be here and then at the end of the day B. Simone was still there she just wasn't a part of the show well I do think that Danny Lay does have some maturing to do right I also think that she did handle this the best way she could okay and I don't think I probably did that too like, actually thing. I know a lot of people are trying to make it into that I really just think Danny Lay didn't want anything to do with B. Simone because she feels like the baby and B. Simone may be together allegedly all right you guys before we wrap up this video I also want to talk about Cardi B coming out to talk about <laughs> the fact that she will now be missing out on money after losing the brand deal allegedly with Call of Duty due to her court situation. Talk about a mess. So Cardi B started with this. She has not Honestly. let him talk about this girl. <laughs> when this bitch says she gonna sue you, you don't give a fuck. That's type of bold that I respect, okay? She said you, you, you ain't gonna sue nothing. I'm still gonna talk about you. Hmm. decisions that is hilarious have caused me to miss out on money now i had a multi-million dollar call of duty deal on the table that i couldn't take Wait, was it black tea blog or was it another one quick decisions lesson learned someone says this explains the necklace from your video she says yep another person says this nah i need call of duty to renegotiate the deal imagine cardi b as a character it would be so fire she says i couldn't make it because of court a couple weeks ago i wasn't able to go do the shoot on time chow talk about a mess i really just say in this situation that's why you have have to be very careful about the decisions you make mm. when you have a platform and you also have to start paying some of these niggas dust and that's just my opinion on that because mm. a lot of times women we do some very very weird things for men that we love and nobody can sure. sit up here and deny like we haven't all done something that we're like why am i acting this way you know what i mean over a man but at the same time i've never seen anybody go to this extent but it all comes down to your decisions right decisions 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 choices choices Choices. Girl, you shady. Sometimes the things that we do in life oftentimes come back up to haunt us or to teach us a lesson. Let me know what you guys think. Was it Black Tea Blog? Am I making that up? Yeah, it was Black Tea Blog. <laughs> She said, bitch, I'm about to keep talking about you and what about it? That's crazy. Um, I was about to say, I actually agree with Danny Lay. I would have asked them to not have her by me also. Especially if you have that type of pull and you're the guest of the show and they're like, hey, is there anything you need? Anything you want? Anything we can make to, you know, do to make you feel more comfortable? 
I can see her being like, actually, yes, get, get that bitch about here. She's talking shit about me. She's making comments about me. I don't fuck with her. Let's just keep her over there so that we can have, you know, a cool show. Because like she said, why would, you know, they want the environment to be weird and awkward and uncomfortable. That doesn't make any sense. So I do understand her saying that she didn't want to be Simone a part of, you know, her segment or whatever. It's one episode, so... It's like, it's not that big of a deal. She'll be on the other episodes. I would do the same shit. So, you know, I can't lie about that. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!